So, Fat Albert's got a job at the zoo, taking care of the effluent. I mean, elephant. An hour a day, a few bales of hay and some buckets of water. Doesn't seem like a lot of work, but with all that Fat Albert has to do, he's got schoolwork, and then homework, plus a little job of helping out at the home. I just hope he's not taking on more than he can handle. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you do. Hey, 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 that was one fine dinner tonight, Mom. Oh, I'll second that. I'm glad you both liked it. Albert, there's something I want to tell you. My sister, your Aunt Sally, is sick and needs my help for a couple of days. I'm going tomorrow. Your mother's concerned about leaving us here alone. Hey, we'll be OK. What's wrong with Aunt Sally? She has the flu and has to stay in bed. I'll take care of the house. And Dad, tomorrow night, I'll make you the greatest dinner you ever had, except for Mom's cooking, which is only the best. <laughs> Don't forget the elephant. Sorry, Mom. Dinner's just for Dad and me. <laughs> <laughs> Quick feed, baseball or the junkyard? Hey, 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 no games today. I gotta get to the zoo, then home to cook dinner for my dad. Hey, where, where, where's your mother? She had to go out of town. See ya. Poor Fat Albert. What do you mean, poor? He's got a job, and that makes him a millionaire. I just wish we could help him. Yeah. Then maybe he'll share some of that loot with me. Uh, I mean us. I've got it. We'll help him cook dinner. I don't know how to cook. Then stick with me, my good man. I am truly an incredible chef. A master of fine cuisine. What's cuisine? That means the best. The greatest. Oh, like double cheeseburgers. Even better. Come on. Oh, better than double cheeseburgers? Wow. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, what's happening? We're gonna help you cook dinner. Thanks, but I can handle it. Probably, but, 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 but can you cook cuisine? What's cuisine? <laughs> well, it's like double cheeseburgers, only better. Anyway, Rudy knows how to cook cuisine. Just lead us to the kitchen, and you shall have one of the greatest chefs of the world to assist you in the preparation of fine cuisine. Who? Me. Uh-oh, I was afraid that's who you meant. Chef Rudy, at your disposal. You got a garbage disposal. Wow! Hey, 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 chocolate cake today. The casserole's coming along fine. To think our mothers do this every day for us, cooking and baking, you know, it's a lot of work. Yeah, but, but, but eating's so much fun. Add two cups of milk. What happened to the milk? It was right here on the counter. I drank it. All this work make me thirsty. I'll go to the store and get some milk. You guys watch the stove. Oh, want to know what's better than watching the stove? What? Watching television. Now, that's about the smartest thing you've ever said. Thanks, Rudy. Hey, this is a truly great movie. Now, how do you know that? I've seen it ten times. <laughs> really? Donald, oh my gosh. So, with all that Fat Albert has to do today, the one thing he definitely does not need is a fire. By watching television instead of the stove, Dumb Donald and Rudy may have put themselves into trouble and given Fat Albert a great big worry. Oh, here comes a scary pie! Look at that, will ya? Rudy, Dumb Donald. Hi! Boy, is this a good movie? The invasion of the flamethrowing dragon. No fire, just a lot of smoke. Your neighbor saw smoke and called us. Uh, thank you. Tell your mother to be more careful when she cooks. My mother is careful when she cooks. The problem is some other guys who are more interested in watching some flamethrowing dragon. Well, a stove can be a flamethrowing monster too, so be careful. Hey, we were watching that. You weren't watching what you were supposed to be watching. What is it? It's ruined. That's what it is. Ruined. Well, if that's cuisine, I'd rather have a double cheeseburger. <laughs> the kids are lucky. Usually, where there's smoke, there's fire. It's important to be careful around the stove, and when something's cooking, don't forget about it. Or more than just a casserole can get ruined. I wonder what Fat Albert is going to do about dinner. Well, let's see if I have the story right. There was Rudy, Donald, and a flame-throwing dragon that burned up Minneapolis in the casserole, hmm? Milwaukee, sorry about the casserole. Well, you meant well. Thank goodness there wasn't any real damage. I don't know how Mother does it. She cleans, cooks, does the laundry shops, runs errands, and always seems to have time for everything. What about you? Will you have time to do everything tomorrow before she arrives home? Sure. Well, what about your job at the zoo? I'll be there to feed Marvin. And homework? I'll find the time. Well, do your homework now. I'll finish the dishes. But I made the mess. It's OK. Your homework comes first. Well, I'll put the dishes away when you're through. I'll take care of them. Thanks, Dad. The seeing Fat Albert's father do the dishes reminded me that it's high time that I did mine. Boy, they sure pile up in a hurry. But I don't really mind. As a matter of fact, ever since I was a kid, I preferred to do the washing. Now, the drying is something else. I was always afraid of breaking a dish or somebody's favorite cup. As a matter of fact, I still am. And I sure could use a volunteer. I mean, anybody want to dry the dishes for me? Uh, no. OK, well, you can't blame a guy for trying. Now, let's see how Fat Albert's coming along. Now, these dishes, you can help if you want to. And I've got to clean up the house, do the laundry, put the dishes away, and then go over to the zoo. Bingo! The magic word! Yeah! We want to go to the zoo with you! 
Maybe we can get you your very own cage. Hey, you guys, I got a lot of work to do. Maybe we can help you. I think I got all the help I'll ever need from the two of you guys yesterday. That's gratitude for you. Can we go with you later? Okay, why don't you watch television? I think it's time for you know who. Who? The, the Brown Hornet! When Fat Albert gives up the Brown Hornet, he must be down with work. It's not a bird. It's not a bee. It's the Brown Hornet! As you recall, last time we left our hero, the Brown Hornet and his trusty pal Stinger hopelessly trapped in the gooey mud of the mud planet, ruled by the evil King Schmutz. Using his super terrific powers and the blow dryer, the brown hornet flew away the giant pie sweaters and dried out the mud planet, thus once again saving his path. Yeah! yeah. We must. Yeah. Even brown hornet. Now we pick up our heroes as they face an even worse threat. Just one incredible victory after another! <laughs> it does get a bit boring! Uh oh, what is it? I don't know. The, the, the controls won't control. Nothing. Sounds like a job for the Brown Hornet. It's always a job for the Brown Hornet. Boring! Try the true gravitational activator. Well, um, that, that could spell trouble. It is trouble. It's no use. We're under the control of some outside force. <laughs> I got, got you. <laughs> Mr. Vile, what have you done to the spacecraft? I have neutralized the controls with my control neutralizer. What are you going to do, Brown Hornet? First, I'll think. Then, I'll act bravely. <laughs> think as long as you want, Brown Hornet. You will realize you are helpless here. Mr. Vile, you're vile. And I, the Brown Hornet, shall stop you. Nothing can stop me, Brown Hornet. <laughs> I have it. He has it. I'll slip out the back door, and while Mr. Vile is watching our spacecraft, I'll sneak into his fortress and nail him. You see, I, too, have a new device. Also, patent pending. It looks like a cotton ball. It's a dehydrated, concentrated cloud. When it's big enough, I'll hide inside and surprise Mr. Vile. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, Brown Hornet! He always gets him, Stinger! Who is it? <laughs> A special delivery package for Mr. Brown Hornet. Don't open the door! Where is he? Where is that Brown Hornet? We'll never tell. <laughs> we'll just wait. Well, maybe the Brown Hornet isn't coming back. The Brown Hornet always comes to save you two gloobs. You can't call us gloobs. Hey, Stinger! Under the circumstances, if he wants to call us gloobs, it's okay with me! <laughs> it's getting cloudy. Looks like we might have some rain. The Brown Hornet had better get here before it gets too foggy. Take that, Brown Hornet! How's that? That should keep you pinned for a while, Vile. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Uh, what are you gonna do with him? We'll take him to the no-gravity planet where his magnets will not work. Mr. Vile will have to find an honest job. An honest job? Like, like good people have? Oh, cruel fate. How did you do it, Brown Hornet? When I got to Mr. Vile's control room, he wasn't there. But his master control unit <laughs> uh, 
was. And it's still more powerful than his little hand magnet thrower. You got it. No! He got it! Thank you again, Brown Hornet. I guess I didn't appreciate your bravery until you weren't here to protect me. Sometimes we don't appreciate someone until they're gone. Thank you for coming back. A little thank you goes a long way. And we have a long way to go to get to the no-gravity planet. Let's fire it up, Stinger. So we got a problem. It's the space movers, and they're coming to get us. Will our daring heroes survive this new threat, or will they be delivered to a faraway planet? Tune in next time for another exciting adventure with the Brown Hornet! Hey, hey, hey. Very busy day. When do you have to be at the zoo? I should be there now. But you have all this housework to do before your mother gets home. Yeah, and I don't know how I'm going to get everything done. What am I going to do? My mother will be home soon, and Marvin is getting hungry. Fat Albert is being pulled in two different directions. He wants to put the house in apple pie order before his mother gets home. But Marvin is calling. OK. Fat Albert has two jobs to do and too little time to do them. But how can he make a choice? Both the house and the elephant are important. I wonder what he's going to do. Uh, we want to help you, Fat Albert. It's my responsibility. I hate to admit this, but you help us all the time. And the Brown Hornet Show was all about showing appreciation. You want to help me clean the house? I, I, I'd rather go feed the L. Uh, <laughs> foot. You said, you said you it, man. Right. You really you said it. You won right. right. This time. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I said effalunt. Oh, oh, no. Feeding Marvin is my job. If you want to help me clean the house, OK. 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 Me, too. <laughs> Kitchen floor needs washing. Dishes put away. I'll do that. Put the laundry in the washer and dryer. I'd rather put the dishes away. Rudy. Like I said, I love laundry. Somebody has to make the beds. I'd do it. And the trash has to be taken out. I'll help Dumb Donald with the bed. Then I'll take out the trash. Well, what are we standing around for? Let's move it. <laughs> I'm coming, Marvin. <laughs> How you doing, Marvin? I got here as fast as I could. You're doing fine, Albert. Just fine. Keep up the good work, and you'll be in line for a raise. Hey, 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 a raise and pay. How about that, Marvin? <laughs> here comes your mother and father now. How's that for perfect timing? Perfect. <laughs> I missed you, Mom. I missed you too, Albert. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hey, how Hi. you doing? What did you do while I was gone? Lots of things. But the biggest thing is not what I did, but what I learned. What is that? That my mother can do magic better than the best magician. Why, thank you, Albert. Mom, how do you manage to do all the things you do around here? I mean, how do you find the time? I'm not sure. I guess with three ingredients. Some practice, a little patience, and a whole lot of love. Sounds kind of like a recipe for good cuisine. <laughs> it is. 
Way down deep inside, we all appreciate the good things done for us by those who love us. But it's not enough to keep it inside. We have to show our appreciation. And I call that having an attitude of gratitude. And how do we show our gratitude? Well, thank you is a good way to start. And like the Brown Hornet said, a little thank you goes a long way. But thank yous are only a start. Helping out around the house or helping a friend is another way of showing that you appreciate that you have an attitude of gratitude. Bye now. See you soon.